Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. As I told you, my friend Len let me borrow three uh, games about the airborne invasion of Crete since he liked the Crete game from Paratroop. This is the third of them. This one is Air Assault on Crete, game of the epic German airborne attack. It says it's got two games in it, and I guess the other game is Invasion of Malta in 1942. I've actually been to Malta. That's an interesting island. It is the most man-made looking island I've ever seen. The island itself isn't man-made, but it's basically a fortress. It's all stone and stuff. I mean, if you were to build something like that nowadays, it would probably cost like $50 billion or something in uh, today's dollars. It, it's pretty interesting. It's got some nice uh, military museums on it and stuff, too. I had a good time when I was there. Assault from the Sky, the first airborne invasion in history. Early on in the morning of May 20th, 1941, the German army launched the first totally airborne invasion that the world had ever witnessed. Even the Germans themselves admitted that it was an awesome and daring undertaking. As their objective, the German High Command had chosen the island of Crete, strategically located in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea between Greece, Cyprus, and the coast of North Africa. Defending this rugged and isolated island were the zigzag or ragtag Allied survivors of the ill-fated Greek campaign consisting of British, New Zealand, Australian, and Greek units. Although 42,000 strong, they were woefully weak in ammunition, artillery, rifles, heavy weapons, radios, blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading all that. That's the worst uh, blurb I've ever seen on the back of a box. I mean, someone's not even going to finish reading that and just uh, put the game back on the shelf. I assume this wasn't a good seller. All right, let's see what else is going on here. All right, it doesn't. S s s All right, for adults and precocious adolescents, twelve years of age or older, rated intermediate on Avalon Hills game complexity scale. All right, let's see. It's about got a bunch of maps in here. They're all mounted. That's the first one. Second one. Third one, this is for the invasion of Malta. And the last one. Here's a handout for the players. It's got a C movement table, drift diagram on it. And Crete Malta combat results table, bombardment table, and armored reliability table. So far, even though I didn't like the blurb on the back of the box, uh, the components look all right so far. This looks like something extra. I don't know if this is out of gen is this out of General Mag or yeah, I wonder if that's out of General Magazine or where that's out of. Here's an Allied Organization card. Here's a play-by-mail thing. I, they, they must have got this out of General or something. All right, uh, here's an Axis Organization card. Before we go into rules, let's take a look at the counters. Looks like the guy clipped the counters. Truth be told, I never clip my counters. A lot of people are horrified that I don't clip my counters. Well, I don't. Looks like at least most of them are single-sided. Maybe all of them are. Standard NATO military symbols. There's some, except for like the airplanes, which is just a picture of an airplane. I guess this is the used dealer he bought this from. Crazy Igor, I've heard of him. I've never bought anything from him. Alright, let's look at the rule book now. Oh, this is from that same guy, uh, I guess the original owner, who uh, writes on everything with a red pen. Alright, it's going over the unit counters. And here's the sequence of play. 
Axis player segment, aircraft placement and bombardment phase, airborne assault and air landing phase, sea movement phase, movement phase, and then combat phase, and then a sea movement phase, movement phase in a combat games, or combat phase. And then we got the basic uh, movement, they're going into more detail of that, road movement, uh, stacking limitations, zones of control, combat, and there's artillery fire in this. And here's going over the airborne assault and air landing rules. And going over aircraft rules and sea movement. And now you got some advanced game rules here, like anti-aircraft units, coastal defense, artillery units. So the basic game's only like seven pages of rules. And two of them are, or, or the first one's just fluff, basically. Yeah, so that's not bad. Yeah, like reinforcements, access port entry. Uh, evacuation and then it's going over special units and functions and it's going over to victory conditions here it looks like you're the game is one with victory points this one looks all right like I said I didn't like the blur but the game itself looks playable maybe one day I'll get a chance to try this thanks for watching if you liked the video please click like on it and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to this channel and as you've probably heard i'm selling used war games on my website i'll have a link in the description along with my buy list there's some stuff i'm looking to buy so check it out and have a good evening